Hey guys, uh, Envisional Kicks here, and today I'm going to be showing you an early pair of the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 uh, BB1826 in the gray, solar, red, orange colorway. Um, and I'll also be doing a very in depth look at them and on feet. I do plan keeping these pairs, uh, keeping this pair as mine, um, so I will be undead stocking these um, today. Uh, so, yeah, let me give you a little look. Uh, one side of the box is Boost. Uh, obviously, there's the technology in it. Um, here's one side. Uh, has the label with the size uh, in different variants. Also has the um, name Easy Boost 350 V2. Colorway details there in the product style code. And then that packaging stuff. Sorry, the box. Um, one side you got the same thing on the other side but without the label. Easy Boost 350 made by Adidas. Adidas.com slash Kanye. Uh, and the Adidas Originals logo right there. So, the top of the box, lastly, it says 350. Uh, it's the model. It shouldn't mean it's the 350 V2s, but this is the short model. Uh, so, yeah. Let's do a little look at them. All right. So, it's a uh, pull-out box. The previous box opens like this. Um, it's kind of like a lift-up, but this is a pull-out. It doesn't pull out all the way, at least from my experience. I don't know if that's just my box or whatever. And the packaging might look a little rough. That's just because I have opened these and I will be repackaging them right now. Sorry about the yard stuff. Uh, but yeah, I repackaged them. So um, I've already opened these, hence why the packaging doesn't look that good. It looks much better to start. So, all right. Here we go. Point proven, it should be much smoother than this. But uh, yeah. So here's one shoe. Boom. Supply 350, also could mean St. Pablo loves you, but I doubt it. I think it's Supply 350. Um, on that orange stripe, and then in this rustic kind of industrialist font. Um, and then under that you have this gray line uh, directly parallel with it. And it follows it in its path. Um, and I'll do more looking at that in a second. So let me set this one off to the side. Look at the second one. Also identical, same stripes, same Supply 350 font. So yeah. Um, Okay, uh, one of the shoes has this hung up with it, uh, UKF, it's just that same kind of tag. And then another shoe has a sticker inside of it, which I've already unstuck. I'll repackage this box here. Uh, the packing material is the same kind of glossy paper, and also I thought I'd note that um, this box is much easier to open than the past ones. I used to have to like kind of pry the other ones open, this one kind of slides. Only issue is that over here it'll like get caught sometimes, which kind of annoys me, but yeah. Just little nitpicking things if you're curious about the box. Uh, I'll set this box to the side and we'll do an in-depth review of the shoe. All right, so I'll set these here. I'm gonna sit down. All right, so uh, here's the shoe itself. Uh, it says Supply 350, as I've already gone over, in an industrialist font. Uh, same color as this gray, um, and it's on this very vibrant, like this thing, this stripe pops. Um, Anyone who's seen these can vouch that this stripe is just ridiculous with how much it pops. Um, it's, it's insane. It's quite, it's quite the contrast from this kind of gray, uh, darker colors. Um, and I really like it. It looks amazing on feet. It's crazy. So, um, uh, on the back here, on the back heel, you have three stripes, obviously for Adidas. One, two, three. And they kind of just match the nice shoe. Um, and I really like how this looks. It looks so cool because it just, um, some Adidas in there. I, I don't know. I really appreciate how this looks. It's like a, a good attention to detail. It looks so high quality. And yeah. So right now I'm just doing an aesthetic review. I'll, I'll do a comfort and quality review in a second. Um, so on the back here, uh, when the orange and gray stripe ends, uh, the orange stripe completely comes to a full stop. And then there are a bunch of little dots uh, of orange, little accents that go around it. And the gray also comes to a full stop, but then kind of continues around the whole shoe, making this really wavy, cool pattern. Uh, it's also on the other side of the shoe, but it's a lot less prevalent because the two stripes are covering it. Um, the laces are a standard. Um, the laces are a standard kind of rope lace, uh, the same type they've been using on the other ones. These ones might be a little thicker, but I can't really tell. Um, I think it's just the same style of laces, but in the gray and kind of darker gray colorway. Um, each of the shoes also has this packing tape, tape packing material uh, in them, so I'll just throw that off to the side. You don't, oh, whatever. All right, uh, let me get that one second. 
Okay. So, uh, back to the shoes. So, um, looking at them from another angle, same kind of stitching on the front as the previous Easy 350 models. Same stitching on the back as the previous Easy 350 models. Um, laces are the same. Only really huge difference for me is that, okay, firstly, this sole, uh, much bigger here, kind of does this insane curve. And here is like a, kind of like a bowl. I feel like I could eat cereal out of here. It's insane. It goes straight down, kind of curves in. So it's definitely spacey in here. But then it kind of pops out here. So it's the same style, these little lines, but um, shaped differently here. It goes a little higher. Um, and I'll explain why this is in a moment. Uh, it looks much more similar from this angle, still kind of the same deal, and then at the front also the same deal. These are more of like a gum material, and they don't feel like painted because they aren't painted. So that means really good for you, the consumer, if you're plan if you plan on wearing these, won't ship. All the other Yeezys, include besides Pirate Blacks, um, really like chipped, and you could tell if you've, you've been wearing them for a while. Like my, my uh, Oxford Tans, that paint chipped, and the whole bottom you can just see the wear. But these, that you really won't have that problem. Okay. Um, the bottom of the sole is just insane. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen with the boost. So you have that traditional boost with this little patch right here in the old shoes. But up here, as you go up, you've got this ridiculous looking like puzzle pattern. It's insane. This, this, this is cool. And it also goes to prove that the boost is in fact throughout the whole shoe. Because people used to think, oh, maybe boost is just in the back of the Yeezy. No, it goes through the whole shoe. And this is Adidas saying that. Um, and also in the here, a little... Attention to detail, it says Adidas with the original logo. So that's really cool. Um, the other shoe is obviously identical, but as you can see, those are the main changes they've made. Um, now let's get a quick look at the inside of the shoe. So something I thought I'd mention just really quick before we go on the inside. Um, the whole outside of the shoe, if you didn't tell, has these little black, has like orange accents throughout the whole thing. Um, so no matter where you look in the shoe, there's little orange dots just kind of creeping throughout. Besides right here, there doesn't seem to be any on this gray line, but the rest, um, there seems to be orange lines kind of creeping throughout. Um, almost as if like this came through and exploded back here, it just kind of went throughout the whole shoe. It's a very cool effect. Um, so yeah. Now, if you're wondering, uh, why is that? Well, this is because on the inside of the shoe, uh, let's get a look at that. On the inside of the shoe, it is completely orange. It's it's the coolest thing ever. It's orange in pattern, just like it is on the outside. And it's mainly like these orange lines that are just so cool looking. Let's get another angle. Uh, yeah. It's so cool looking. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so cool looking, because on the inside, you got this orange line pattern that's just going all throughout, and it's ridiculous. So that's, it's, that's that. Um, and that explains why the orange kind of goes throughout of the shoe. Um, now that's the same for um, these as well. So both pairs exact same pretty much. I don't see any pattern differences. I think they're identical and I've heard really good fakes are being made of these already which is kind of concerning but um, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to do an unboxing. So um, all right now I'm going to do a little on feet and then comfort review. Uh, I wore these very briefly on foot but now I'm going to do a little more extensive on foot kind of jump maybe like walk a little bit but yeah. Um, and I'll also talk about, people are saying that the size is about half small. No, it's just small. These fit small. And people are saying to have to go half big. These are true to size on me, and I'm pretty sure they fit perfectly, but we'll see. So let's get into the on feet. Oh, also, last uh, mention, these don't have a pull tab on the back. I completely forgot to mention that. These these lack a pull tab, just thought I mentioned. But this is a lot more pronounced, so you can pull back much easier with this. It's not really an issue. Uh, I'm just going to... Sorry. All right, there's pair number one on feet. These fit beautifully. All right, so. All 
All right, so here's the pair. Both are on feet. Let me just move that. So both are on feet here. Um, I'm gonna stand up like that. And here they are on feet. So um, just initial reaction. So I did go true to size on these and people are saying to size up. And in my opinion, these fit perfect true to size. Um, that's just a starter thing that I'm gonna base off of here. These fit absolutely perfect true to size. I don't know why people are saying half up. If you like some room in your shoes, size half up, but if you have normal sized feet, like not super wide or anything, if you have normal sized feet, these will just surround your feet perfectly and you'll just get a great um, great fit. And it's not too bad uh, snug wise, you still got, you still got a little bit of room movement, but yeah. Um, I can see why people would size half up, but they don't fit half small in my opinion. I mean half, yeah, half small. Um, so yeah. Now I'll do like a little just jump, a little hop. So there's that. And then I'll also just kind of move around for a second. So, okay, I have walked around a bit with these uh, in beforehand. And in my opinion, these are ridiculously comfortable. In comparison to the first 350s, um, these are 20 times better. So what I would compare these to um, are, I would say, a slightly less comfortable uncaged Ultra Boost. So uncaged Ultra Boosts uh, are super comfortable on the sole, but in all, and are also like ridiculously comfortable on the upper because you get like a sock-like upper. But these are like kind of a, the upper is pretty unmovable and it's a lot more thick. Um, like my old 350s, I felt like if someone touched the touched them like this, I could like feel their hand. But like if you do that with these. It's pretty, it's pretty thick. Like it's a much more thick material. Like if I was wearing these in winter, I wouldn't be as cold as if I was wearing my, my traditional 350s. So that's just kind of my opinion on that. Um, these are definitely a lot more thick on the upper. Um, another thing I would say is uh, the comfort on the sole, the boost on these is 20 times more comfortable than the boost on the original 350s and NMDs. This is right up there with Ultra Boosts, uh, really close. You can really tell Adidas tried to make it better uh, with this release of the 350s. You can really just see the general overall quality and tell once you've tried them on that it's so much better than the original 350s and NMDs that Adidas is really trying to bring it up. That also could indicate a more mass-produced thing. Um, supposedly these are going to be in a lot more quantity than the uh, previous Yeezys. Um, so it could mean Adidas is like stepping up their production game because they're going to produce more. Um, and because they're producing more, their production just naturally gets stepped up. So it could be a sign of that, but that's just speculating. Um, and yeah, these are amazing. So the reason, uh, lastly, before I wrap things up, these are amazing. Um, I would say, just a summary, these are amazing. Um, I would say they fit true to size or you could size half big. Um, <coughs> so, you, so you could size... Um, you could size 0.5 up just to be safe because they do, um, they are snug, but it's like a good, it's like a solid snug. Um, and uh, they're much more comfortable than the original 350s. And in my opinion, uh, these are my favorite Yeezys I have so far. Um, not out of bias, but on feet, these are actually like ridiculously cool from a distance and just up close. Like these, like if you're trying to catch eyes, this is how you'll do it. Like I'm not joking. Like I'm looking at my reflection in like a mirror right now, and these just look so cool. Like I'm not kidding. Like they're ridiculous. They're quite a uh, showstopper. They're 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 cool. They're cool. Uh, if you if you uh, liked my review or have any more questions, just please hit me back up. Uh, hope you enjoyed, guys. Thanks. Also, be sure to check out Envisional Kicks. Kicks.envisional.com. We provide just really premium add to cart services uh, for shoes and any of your favorite sneakers. Um, so yeah, uh, if you have any questions, please hit us up on Twitter. Hope you enjoyed the review.